Um, so let's talk a little bit about the lockout laws, which are planning to be repealed uh, before the end of the year, as far as I understand. Um, now, you were on the chair, the, sorry, you were on the, in committee, the cross party yeah. committee that looked into the lockout laws. Now, what did you find on the committee? Uh, and um, do you think it's a good idea to repeal the lockout laws? Well, I do in the centre of Sydney. Uh, you've got to judge the evidence here. You know, you've got to be guided by the statistics. And the crime statistician in New South Wales, Boxer, has found that in the period of the lockout laws, there's only been a 4% reduction in alcohol-related non-domestic violence in the centre of Sydney. But the reduction in King's Cross has been much more substantial, over 50%. So you, you probably want to keep the lockout laws in, in the cross, which is sort of um, going down a more residential path. It's only half sleazy these days. I think it's much improved from when I last saw it. And, uh, but in the centre of Sydney, there's no point you know, killing off thousands of jobs, night economy, Sydney's tourism reputation for a 4% reduction in uh, alcohol-related alcohol non-domestic violence, uh, which is basically assaults, you know, drunken assaults, I suppose, is the shorthand. Um, of that statistical report. Why, you know, and at the same time, areas, parts of Sydney that haven't had lockout laws have had bigger reductions. Mm. Over the last 10 years in Campbelltown, in South West Sydney, an area I know quite well and, and used to represent in the federal parliament, they've had a 71% reduction in drunken assaults. That's, mm. you know, you, in a world of you know, bad news in the media, that's an incredible good news story that social attitudes to drinking and violence have improved to the point where if, if, if 10 years ago there were 100 of those drunken assaults in Campbelltown today, there are 30. So, you know, a 70% reduction is remarkable. And uh, if you're achieving that without lockout laws, why are you killing off the centre of Sydney when you've only got a 4% reduction under this uh, oppressive regime? Mm. Well, it is actually a, an interesting general point, is that crime statistics, as far as I'm aware, have gone way down in like mm. the last 50 years. But you wouldn't read about it on no. the news. I mean, most people you no. talk to, I will say, uh, parents or grandparents will say, you know, the world's not as safe today as it was mm. back in my day. Uh, and that might be an interesting reflection on, on how the media has been portraying the world to people. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Fear sells uh, newspapers and, and increases ratings and particularly fear about your children. Yes. Well, you know, they want parents to think that your kids will go out, they won't come home, mm. uh, that, you, you, you know, the world's about to end with climate change. So fear is, is something that the media uses as a, as a commercial tool.